Hi friends! In this tutorial I'm going to talk about viewports in the model space. They are used mainly when working in 3D and in that way I can set the main workspace where I make the drawings and have different perspectives in the other viewports. So let's start. To configure viewports in the model space I can go to the Visualize tab then, on this panel, click on Viewport Configuration. As you see, there are several options for viewport displaying. I want to choose this one, 3 left. Another way, I can click here on Viewport Controls, then go to Viewport Configuration List, and here you have the options. So, at this moment, what I have here is a kind of three different workspaces and in each of them I can activate different features in a way that it helps me during the work. This is very common for making 3D projects, especially if you are using a big screen or your PC. Now, the current workspace is highlighted. I can zoom in or switch off a few icons at the status bar and you can notice that the other workspaces don't change. Now I'm going to click on this part. This is the current viewport now and this time I can click in the controls to change the viewpoint or the visual style for example. The viewports can also be resizable although you must keep in mind that they fill the entire workspace. Look at this situation. I click on the remaining viewport, I zoom in and imagine I want to change the UCS coordinates here. I want to select it but I can't because it's behind the command bar. In this case I can move its position or resize it. Example of using viewports in the workspace. The window on the left is my main one, so I want to have a 3D viewpoint there. The other two I can set up orthographic perspectives, for example top and left. I click on the viewport there, then go to this control and change it to top. By the way, on the viewport below, I choose left. Let's draw a line on this face of the solid. Oh, it's better to turn on the dynamic UCS. Then, once highlighted the plane, I can draw lines and you can see them appearing on the window at the corner. In conclusion, you can try out several displays of viewports until you find out the one that's more comfortable for you. So it was everything for today, but this time before leaving I want to mention that I just started a page of Patreon for Kelly Black. There you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time!